Hey guys, it's phase one. In this video, we're going to have a detailed look at the new RSI Polaris. Before we get into this video, I'd like to let y'all know that I'm doing a giveaway with all Naughty I Argo Atlas. In order to press play, all you have to do is be subscribed and leave a comment in any video between me now and the end of December. Let's get into this video. All right, guys, um, the RSI Polaris finally being released. It's and I'm blown away by the amount of detail in on this ship so what we're going to do is um, as we cover the ship we're going to cover the exterior first just to look at all the different details that cig has added they have some, the app added some new tech which i think uh you'll be really happy about once i i show it to you and um so we'll start off with the exterior and then we'll get into the interior shortly after okay so let's just get straight into it so what i'm going to do is going to zoom in zoom in here and um i purposely have the lighting um on so uh in this way this way you can probably pro properly see these ships i'm going to rotate it and if you look look at the detail with the lighting right look how beautiful the ship is when you rotate it into uh the dark side of the star right look at how detail the lighting is phenomenal beautiful 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 design i'm not even remotely surprised as to why it, it took so long for them to finish this ship because everything is perfectly done okay so um so let's uh rotate it back so that we can look at the uh get a better look okay so oh did i boost okay let me turn off my engines all right so when you look at the front right you can see the missile you have uh, missile racks on on the sides there and uh when you go further down i really like the thrusters on both sides here they're really nice i'm gonna turn it on and boost and go forward and then i'm gonna stop and you see how they all light up oh beautiful boost beautiful 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 okay all right, so um, the engines, very, 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 very beast. Okay, so you can see right here, there's a point defense right here. And on the other side, you'll see the same thing. So this is a well-defended ship. Um, if the point defense is actually working, I'm not sure if it's actually working in this build, but uh, we'll test it later down the line um, in uh, another video. We actually put this thing through a true combat scenario. So the amount of detail CIG put in this ship is it's just it's amazing. There's a docking collar, um, I believe right there where it says danger, right in the middle of the screen right here. I believe that's where the docking collar is this right here i believe is where the retractable turret is uh in the midsection of the ship so there's two turrets one there and then also one here that's also lit up right here all right so those turrets come out once needed you have these two top turrets here as well all right i i went ahead and replaced they came by default with cannons um niskis i went ahead and put god of greens not god of greens but uh, rhinos on them so these are four size fours each on these and also these ones in here also have four size four each so this thing has a lot of firepower a lot of firepower also um point defense in the back here and then back here is also a turret uh missile turret back here that i believe the co-pilot controls this one all right and if you look at the bottom now so let's let's look at the bottom so let, let's just rotate the ship a little bit all 
Just get some light on there. All right. All right. So now if you look at the bottom here, you'll see another turret. Point defense right here and just further down, you'll see another turret. Really, really nice. I'm not even sure which control, which seat controls the this one. Um, but I uh, didn't even expect that to be there as well. All right, so these are where the landing gears go in and out. And uh, some more thrusters, another point defense right here. And uh, man, man, man. Uh, the front landing gear is right here, right here in the middle of the screen here. Another point defense. So like the, the point defense is reflected on both sides of the ship, the top and the bottom, perfectly placed. So when these things are working, it's a, uh, it's going to be a highly defensible ship. So now the main guns here are two bespoke uh, size sixes, uh, ballistics. I don't know if reloading is, is working, but I hope it, it is in this build. So this way we can actually use it. Cause right now the mag, I believe the mag, the capacitor or the mag size is around 200. But it's, it's, uh, turn on the engines. It's, uh, it's very beefy. Very, very beefy. Okay. And then these right here, these four circles right here is where the actual torpedoes shoot out of. All right. Okay. Yeah. So that is the exterior. It's very beautiful. Very gorgeous. Um, let me see. Can I open exterior? This is where we can see how uh, the ship opens up the hangar. All right. See the hangar open up. Look at that. That is beautiful. That is beautiful. And you also see the side ramps also come out as well once it's landed you'll be able to use this and they, they are very long look at that look at where it goes all the way out to and look at the hangar size the hangar can fit so many different ships it's it's insane it can fit a terrapin it can fit a scorpius it can fit an f8 it can fit a prospector it can fit a vulture it can fit Lots and lots of uh, arrows. We can can definitely fit lots of arrows in here. But I believe when we tested it, we, we estimated about seven or eight arrows that we could possibly fit in here if you uh, coordinate properly. Um, I'm sure several Pisces can fit in here. And then inside of here is the hangar um, cargo cargo bay, which you can also park vehicles so we can get vehicles up to the storm and also you could probably get the nova tank in there if you remove the top two uh turret guns that sit on top of the vehicle you can get them to fit in there as well okay all right so so that is the exterior so let's let's take a walk around just to see uh open close all right, so everything should be closing back up. All right. All right, so let's take a walk around, right? So when we look at the interior, actually, let's, let's first uh, cover the pilot seat, okay? Let's cover the, the pilot seat. All right. So now, from the pilot seat, this, this ship is beautiful. I didn't know that I was, uh... oh, okay, sorry. All right, so from the pilot seat, the view is phenomenal. Phenomenal view that you get. And like, I don't even think there's a spot where you don't get a good view, okay? You have uh, two dual uh, MFDs, 
that you can see here as um in addition to the uh the cast on the left hand side of the screen as well as the right hand side when you have a target lot so essentially you have four screens all right so let's uh take a look at the captain seat so now even standing here the view is amazing look at this look at this view it's amazing all right sit in the captain's seat beautiful view beautiful view then this is the best seat in the ship to be quite honest you get to see everything all right and then um If you go back to the co-pilot seat, it's going to be effectively the same as the pilot. You can also control the ship from here as well. So you can control the ship from both the pilot and the co-pilot seat. Um, and uh, also you have missile control from here as well. So the pilot also has missile control. The pilot also has missile control. So you can control the ship from here. Okay. Turn this off. And yeah, you can control missiles as well. The same missiles that the pilot also has control. Of. Okay. Great views. Same, essentially the same thing. It's essentially just replicated of the pilot. So nothing new here. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at these two back seats here. All right. Where is this? How do I control this? Is there power on? So this is the turret seat. Remote turret. So let's see. Which which turret is this? Is this the back? I think this is the back. The bottom back, I think. And uh, these have uh, rhinos. Four rhinos. Very, very powerful. Very, very, very powerful. Tons of mag. So if you have four pips to weapons, you get about 73. Okay, you get 73 shots, which is really nice. Really, really nice. Okay. Also a great view from there as well. And this one, I believe, is also another turret. Also another remote turret you can control from here. here no turret need to turn it on first hmm oh this is the missile turret this is the missile turret in the back okay oh you can also hit ships from the front as well you have 360 view to launch missiles which is really really good really nice really really nice all right so what's next so back here i guess these are screens i'm not sure these are just placeholders um but we'll have to see what crg does but it does look pretty nice though so if you go up here you'll see the hollow table which isn't uh, working right now, but uh, it, it looks really nice. Here you have more screens to work with. I'm hoping these will actually be actual screens of different systems that you can view at any given time. All right, so this is the auto table. It's not currently working. So I, I look forward to this actually being functional and usable okay. all right so if you look at here there's some more components here that uh are here to check out oh, these these are like not in yet i'm not sure what these things will be though these are like capital size components all right so this one is i believe avionics stuff i think all right 
Amém. Ah, ok. Sent you the same stuff. And then also, you also have the relays here as well. For those that are doing engineering, it's good to know. Fire extinguishers and everything all in the right places. So here is the escape pod room. There's more escape pods. But uh, these ones are right here for the crew. Okay. So this is the main elevator. This main elevator takes you to the second, the bottom floor. And then also it takes you all the way down to exit the ship. And uh, if you go in here, we're looking at the, this is where like you'll find the storage locker, the suit lockers and the gun racks and for the crew to use. Really nice. Tons and tons of space. I think this probably takes like larger things like uh, um, real guns and things like that. These bigger ones. All right. Suit lockers. Cannot wait till we can actually finally use these things. Actually, you can. I feel like you can even literally just walk into it. That's how much space it is spacious all right so now more suit lockers and some seats not sure what this is but i don't think this is anything all right so let's move along um hmm. so the main elevator will get back to that later as we cover the ground the lower deck so this would be the captain's quarters it's currently locked so it's not available right now but believe see i just probably still working on it uh some relays right here and then these two are the two top turrets uh left and right i'll quickly show you the view you get from that I love the way this, the way you, you enter into the turret. It's really cool. All right. So this one also, um, I've modified these. These are the ones that normally come with cannons, but I modified them to have, uh, um, rhinos. So it's, uh, it's really good. Really, really good. You get good views from it. I'm not sure if I turn off, uh, weapons but i probably did all right yeah so it's a great view very nice the way the way you enter into the turtles is awesome i think it's a great experience all right so now this side is the exact same thing for the other turret what I noticed is these corridors are massive, right? Tons and tons of space compared to some most ships that we uh, use. So this will be the mess hall. Tons of space for the crew to use as they need. Tons and tons of seats. Really nice. I like the, the windows to be able to like see inside of the ship. It's really good. Uh, kitchen area right here. And uh, seating area, I guess, if you want to watch TV or something. I'm not sure if there will be TV. But it seems like that's what that's for. All right. It's really nice. I'll show you the different lighting settings in here. Okay, and then emergency, emergency lightings are really nice. So let's switch it back on. All right. So now when you go across from this, you'll find the hab habitation. All right. 
So habitation. Tons and tons of rooms in here. And they all have uh, two seats, two beds, a seat, and a uh, toilet that uh, surprisingly has working mirrors, <laughs> right? <laughs> that That is pretty cool. This is pretty cool. This is the first ship that has working mirrors. This is, I think this is the first working mirrors in Star Citizen. So it's really nice for them to finally add it. All right, let's open that. The toilets. Okay, very nice. Very, very nice. All right. There's also a shower too. Okay, cool. All right, let's close that up. So this is bunk number one. It has, and that's two people can fit in there, right? So it's one, um, just a relay right here, two, three, four, five, six. So you're looking at 12 people. So this is, this is definitely a crew for 12. I think crew for 12, I think that's fair. Yeah, I think that's fair. Yeah, you definitely need 12. If you get, if you get more, the better, especially with engineering. All right, so now, now that we're here, right? So I just came from this way. This is the middle quarter that we uh, were coming from. Once you get here, left and right, in the middle here is the actual hangar where the ship, uh, you would store a ship, right? So this is it. Plenty of space. You have tons and tons and tons of space in here to fit different vehicles. You know? All right. So also, if you, these elevators also take you down to the, to the cargo bay, which is also where you, you can also store the ground vehicles which we'll get to um this is a big ship so it's easy to get lost what we'll do is we'll go on the right side here what is this let's see here ladder to get downstairs we'll get there shortly what a lot of people miss is if you go down here this is where the docking is yeah docking collar access it will be down here. And uh, this will be the dark color right here. All right. Really nice. Yep. This is it right here. Okay, let's close her up. Okay. All right. So continue on. So it's also the same thing further down that hall. There's also another dock color on the other side of the ship here. So whenever you see, right, you know, it has to do with combat. So this would be a turret access also, right? So this is the turret that uh, is in the midsection that's hidden. So if you sit in it, it will bring you out so this is what it looks like all right where's the on button Power on. all right so let's see Yeah, so this is that side turret that I was talking to you about. It's literally hidden inside of the ship, so. Really, really good. I like it. I like it. All right. Then it retracts back in once you're done with it. 
really nice, really, really nice. All right, so now continue on larger corridor here, escape pods again. So these escape pods, can you, can't really interrupt them yet. Okay. So then you go further. Fire extinguishers are everywhere, I noticed. So now on the sides of the hangar, you'll have access to, I believe this one, is this a medical? Or is it a break? So this is a medical facility, okay? So in this medical facility, you have four beds, two on this side, two on that side. You can set your spawn point here. Really nice. So I'm not sure what you're supposed to see here, but I guess they haven't figured that out yet. I guess maybe the medical status is of whoever is laying there. Might have to test that uh, one day. And um, yeah, really, really nice. Really nice. All right. And then if you go across, which so we'll quickly do. If you go across, you will see the brig. All right. So now this is where you would hold your prisoners. Cell one. All right. And I assume this is there's only one way to open this. And I'm not going to test it or else I'll lock myself in. But uh, yeah, looks like you have inventory access somehow in here as well. So I guess the way that would work is you would uh, access the inventory, place things in there. And that's probably how you'll give them food. <laughs> I assume, I assume that's probably how that's going to work. Uh, you can change the lighting in there as well. Nice. All right. So now what's really cool. Another new tech is cameras, right? When you sit here in the security, uh, seat right here, you actually have cameras that sees into both cells. So that's also really cool. Look forward to them doing this into other, putting this into other ships. Okay. All right. Next, what we'll do is we will go back to where we were this way. We're not confusing ourselves. All right. And by the way, if you want to open this hangar, you can do it through this right here. And um, when you do that, uh, there you don't have to worry about uh, the oxygen being sucked out because there's a a shielding right here right if you look right here you can see it like a shielding that protects you from losing the oxygen or the air being sucked out you can see it right here you see it which is really cool they need to add this to all the ships if possible you know it's really cool really nice okay let's close her up huge 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 space Really good. All right. So now next is. Uh, I don't think anything else is here. So now we're heading towards the back. So now when you get back here, all the way to the opposite side of uh, the hangar, more engineering terminals. All right. And uh, we're not going to take this elevator down, but we'll take these staircases down. So now when you take the staircase down, then you, you have access to the entire engineering area, right? So let's quickly go around. And you'll see relays. Something is supposed to be here, but it's not. Uh, they haven't put it in there yet. You have the gravity generator, the gravity core here, the ship something the jump drive is also supposed to be here let's see open oh nice that's cool 
All right, that's nice. And uh, I'm not sure what this is supposed to be. Something else is also supposed to be here, which isn't in yet. I'm not sure what this is supposed to be, but it looks important. Relays. And then when you go down here, you can also do more engineering. This will allow you to see the actual engine itself of the ship, which is the detail is, is just immense. It's phenomenal. I don't think anything here is interactable though. Let's see. What is this? Okay. That controls this way. All right. All right. So. Um, okay. So we'll have to go down. All right. So we'll call the elevator. Okay, so it seems like there's a bug here. I'm going to try to find another way uh, down to get over there. I believe it was in the front here. Oh, it's the exact same. Elevator. Okay, so okay, let's, let's try it from here. All right, so now when you take this, you go to the cargo bay. Okay. Wow, this thing is broken. All right. So now once you get to the cargo area, you get to actually see the engine here. The amount of detail here is, is just insane. All right. The amount of detail in this room, the engines. What I'm really curious about is does... You see how these things move? I wonder if they react when the ship is, is boosting or if it's actually moving. That's what I'm really curious about. Right? So before we get to there, let's uh, quickly check down here. And I like, I like the fact that the engine is, uh, is being liquid cooled. So this is a, I guess water. I'm not sure if it's water or if it's a special liquid that cools this entire thing. And it's literally the coolest thing. So, so cool to see this. Okay. Really, really nice. All right, let's head back up. And uh, here will probably be yeah, more engineering terminals. All right. Engine, the detail is crazy in here. It's just crazy. The detail is just insane. Okay. More liquid cooling all the way throughout. Really, really nice. So cool. Well done. Well done, CRG. Really nice. And it's the same thing on that side, right? So, um, so if you want to get to the cargo bay, you continue through and then through this door, you get to the actual cargo bay. So now this is where you would store your cargo as well as your ground vehicle so the way to open this there is uh it open right here and then this is how you will load your vehicles and whatever you need to put in here so now there is a tractor beam also here which is controlled by this terminal use tractor beam right here all right And I believe this is power on. Enter turret. And then there. This is how you would control the tractor B. Really, really, really nice. Very, very nice. Okay. All right. All right. So this sits right below the actual hangar, right? And um, you can. Um, load cargo here and send it up or if you bring a ship right that has cargo you land it and then you would uh let's go to the end it'll send us up so you land your ship okay let me close this so some random player doesn't come here you land your ship 
and then you can load cargo onto this and then send it down and uh, fill your cargo bay. And I'm, if you ever want to, you could also fill this entire place with cargo as well, which is also one of the good features of this extra space that you have here, right? So it's really good. Did it close? Is it closing? I'm not sure. It is. Okay. So now, um, let's head back down. Back to the cargo bay. All right. So now we have ladder access. So this will also send you upstairs. This will send you all the way to, uh, the oh, let's see here this will send you all the way to the cargo um, the hangar itself so let's see not even the hangar but it'll send you yeah so the hangar is right there so yeah that's really nice All right. Goodness, I might be stuck here. All right, so now let's close that. On this side is the exact same thing, right? So this elevator is also the same on this side as well, okay? So this is where you will store vehicles, cargo, whatever, whatever you wanna store. And this is the ramp that will go down when you're landed to load your vehicles. Now you can load vehicles up to the storm, but you can also get a Nova in here if you can remove the top guns. Okay. All right. So let's close that up. All right. So now there's a big elevator right here. If you have big stuff that you want to send up, or if you have more torpedoes you want to load from here onto the loading area of the torpedo bay. So here, this is the loading mechanism for the torpedoes, okay? Can we interact with these? I don't think so. I don't think we can interact with these things, but it, it looks really cool. And there's also a staircase that brings you up here as well. And uh, if you go further down, You'll then, you see the main elevator. This is the same main elevator that we saw from the beginning of this video. Right below it, right here. Um, I believe it's right below like the, this could be right below the escape pods area that we saw earlier. This is where you would control the torpedoes. So you will have a separate person down here controlling the torpedoes. The way to do that is uh, you turn it on then enter remote and then here you can see in the top left corner you have access to 28 so i think you can launch let's see how much can we launch i think you can launch four yeah you can load up to four and launch four at the same time that's insane i didn't i didn't even do that i did it one one at a time but you can launch four at once okay which is which is pretty cool okay do want to waste my uh <laughs> okay i'll launch one i'll launch one for you guys there you go didn't lock anything so it's just going to shoot straight okay and uh that's kind of that's how you, how it works okay so yeah so that's how that works and then once it's you'll see you see how it, it, it reloaded to the next one you, the loading mechanism is right here so you can literally see it on both sides um, which is really cool so now when you go further down remember that big turret that i showed you earlier with the size six bespoke uh guns this is it this is how you access it and uh it'll send us down really cool 
here and then let's turn things on power on and then yeah these are these are some heavy cannons so you have 300 but i i, I hope cig allows us to um reload these things man because they're going to be very important these these things do, do serious damage so you gotta make sure you hit your shots <laughs> all right so uh yeah so that's this turret right here let me show you this turret right here that's it right there big 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 guns really cool really really cool all right So now if you go back here, we'll now finally use the main elevator. So that the main elevator um will take you to did I pass it? Yeah. So this the main elevator will take you to uh exit the ship. I'm in space, I'm not gonna do that. But uh you can exit the ship. Call it. You can exit the ship or you can go to the uh so this is the sub deck where we are, right? If it decides to work. I hear sounds, but I don't know if it's actually working. There we go. Hopefully it doesn't bug me. All right, and then you can go to the bridge, right? So you have a uh, bridge, exit, ship. We're currently on the sub deck. So now it'll take us back up, and then this is how you get back to the main floor of the ship. Alright, so now you're back to the main ship, and this should be the bridge area. Here's your escape pods, and then this is your bridge okay um so that is essentially a detailed look at the new rsi polaris all right before i let you go i'd like to let you know that my organization phase one industries is now recruited new and veteran players if you are interested you find our discord in the description down below don't forget to leave a like subscribe i'll catch you on the next